Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Steve Rogers. Get ready to walk into Milk Boy Recording Studio here up in Ardmore. I uh, came down here last week to record some vocal tracks for a former band of mine. We're getting ready to mix down. I haven't listened to any playbacks. I think I heard one of them. And it was the last one that I did before I had to leave Friday, last Friday night. So we're going to take a listen to some playbacks here, see what's going on in the studio. Get some shots in a minute here. There's Tommy. Say hello. I'm giving you guys a video testimonial. Oh, this is this video, not a picture? Oh, this is a video. Nah. And hold still. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dude, you don't even have to say Let cheese. Go. In fact, if you held still, it'd be really weird. There you go. Do that one. There's uh, Mike. Mike Convict. Home record Bob. Where's Dave, man? Not, you not in yet? No, I'm not. Is it working? I try. I can't do it. I can't do it. It sounds like rock and or roll in here. Hey guys, so yeah, I so said I came in here a couple months ago to do some, uh, some vocal tracks for a band I used to play called The Prisoners. They're doing another five song EP and they wanted me to do some backing vocals. And uh, I guess what they're trying to do is go for the, the overall, you know, similar sound to the last record we did when we were in here a couple of years ago. And speaking of which, I want to show you guys something really cool because if you look around here, they got all these different records on the wall that people have come in and done over the years. And if you look, right here is the album we did a couple of years ago called Crash Band Boom, and uh, this was a lot of fun to make. It actually turned out really well. Uh, sound quality was, I mean, the best I've ever heard in any of the recordings that I've ever done in my time. And one of the cool things about having this record appear on the wall is that, I mean, not obviously everybody gets to see it when they come in the studio actually, here. We were just having a conversation but about that. what uh, the sound engineer Tommy had told us when we were in here a couple nights ago is that that's one of the records that they actually play for people when they come in to check out the studio, which is kind of neat if you think about it, because um, it's really cool that they're using, I guess, uh, something we've done as. I guess a, a measuring stick for what the capabilities are in the studio, and it is an awesome place. It's definitely by far the most professional studio that I've ever been into, and I mean, it's just huge, and everything sounds great. Everybody does a good job. You get treated like a pro, and you get to make a pro recording, and you get to hang out in super cool little lounges like this place. So yeah, if you're ever making a record, stop into Milk Boy Studios. It's an awesome place to make a record at. See you guys in a bit. I'm going to go listen to some playbacks. Maybe I'll catch some of them on video. See how we did. Talking a bit. Cool, yeah. We take a walk into the uh, the main room where they did all the recording at, man. This, this is pretty awesome. If you ever... Uh, they got somebody else set up in here that must be recording an album because they got the drums all mic'd up. But it's a pretty big room. Um, I'd honestly have to say in all the studios I've ever been in, and I guess the eight or nine times that I've recorded, this one was by far uh, the most fun and definitely the most professional, man. Tommy is awesome. Uh, he's got a great ear, does a great job mixing and doing all the engineering for the sound. And, uh, you know, I've been in a couple of cool studios in my years, but this one by far is just, I'm just blown away by this place. It's so awesome. Take a look around. That's Milk Boy when up here in Ardmore. And, uh, yeah, all right. So I'm going to end this video now, and I'll probably try to catch some of those playbacks for you guys so you can see what's you know, actually happened in here. I'm interested in hearing it myself. I haven't heard it. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Later.